Hey everybody, ADHDTCG here, and we've got a second booster box of Sorcery Contested Realm Beta. What a long thing to say. We're going to jump right into this. I'm going to slow roll it again. I'm sorting my cards as I go, as it makes things so much easier. I think this video will be coming out on Sunday. So my first one came out on Friday, but I'm actually filming these back to back. Well, not back to back. This is the night. I, I filmed the other one earlier in the day, but... Uh, this one's the same night as the, uh, the first booster box. But just uh, later in the day, it's actually super late. I just wanted to get something ready. I wanted to uh, do another booster box and follow up that first one. So we hit some pretty good cards on that one. About nine foils, seven uniques, pretty sweet. And for our uniques, we definitely hit two that I I mean, I, I don't think we can go, I don't know where we could go from here in terms of unique cards, given we hit the uh, the Philosopher's Stone. I'm not going to even open this guy this time, I'll just keep him in the package and uh, put it in a box for 30 years. Yeah, hitting the, if we hit the Philosopher's Stone, the new Death Dealer, pretty sweet, I dig it. Okay, so we did center last time, I think we're, we're going to do the same thing, lots of luck. I seem to do very well when we go center, right, then left. It's just something that, I, that I've seen here. Here we go. Pack number one. Starting with the Peregrine Apparition. Okay, I gotta just get my organizing ready here. I gotta get all my exceptional cards in the right place. Okay, we have a Font of Life. And we have a Summoning Sphere. And a squirming mass, that is new to me. And here is our, is that an elite? Oh, we only got, uh, oh, there were two cards here, okay. I was miscounting, so I gotta put all my elites together too. Let's put our elites, oh, where's an easy spot, I'll put them right over here. Okay, now we get into the ordinaries. We have our blood ravens, we have our sacred scarabs. I can go there. Incinerates, men of Lang. Border Militia, Old Salt Anchorman, Raw Dromedary, Miracle Workers, High Clansmen, there's that Snow Leopard, and we have a Rubble to finish it off. If y'all see anything, remember, tell me, because I, who knows? I love, I love getting comments. When I first opened Alpha, one of the things I liked the most was the community commenting on the videos and telling me things that I was missing. So that by the, the sixth box that I had opened, I felt like I was, uh, I'd come light years from where I was when I opened the first box. I heard so many things I saw. I learned about dual lands. Not that I didn't know what dual lands were, but that uh, just to, what to look for <laughs> in the cards. Oh, I gotta do this better. And I am organizing all my cards as we go. I said this last video, I've learned a lesson in uh, how I need to organize my cards. Okay, we have an Elite Immortal. Because when I opened all my Alpha boxes, it created a lot of stress to go through all of these cards that were just sitting out and trying to organize all of them. It was awful. So I'm doing my best to at least get things in, in somewhat good shape here by organizing them into the the air, ooh, there's that Vile Imp, love this card. This is one of my favorites of uh, Beta. Great artwork. Great to follow up the Frank. Frazetta artwork with that one, for sure. And a Rustic Village, so many Rustic Villages. So this time it's organizing the cards as we go. Now, what other cards would I, I would really like to hit an Aqua, what is it, an Aqua Marine Corps? Mm. Oh boy, this pack's hard. I have no nails. That is a hard pack to open, yikes. Okay, so we've got a Rolling Boulder. Seen many of these in the last one, in the previous game. Drought, is this what the drought looked like on the last one? Hmm. 
That one's a bit suspicious. So we got a Lucky Charm Exceptional. And there's an Angel's Egg Elite. I do like that one too. Cogman's Crones. Tufted Turtles. First one I've seen on this. There's a Firebolts. There's that Coral Reef Kelpie. A very interestingly done artwork. Piece of artwork. The Mortality. Very cool. An Unravel. There's a Sleep. Here's a sandworm followed by another flame collar. So I hit this guy in a, ooh, what do I wanna say? I hit this guy in a foil last time. I'm pretty sure I will throw him in a sleeve and set him to the side. Okay, here we go. Let's continue on here. I do want to send some of my cards into uh, to Alpha. It was is it PCG Alpha Investments new grading company? That very much interests me, and that might happen one day. The problem is, is I live in Canada, and it's the, the exchange rate right now is just um, it's it's so so bad that it's just not worth it. There are some places you can grade. Oh, dang, too many, and I ruined it. I didn't even see that was coming either. Let's go, we have a Bull Demons of Adam. Okay, Elite Demons run amok. I'll set you there, we'll keep going. There is a grading company here in Canada, but uh, you know, we've got some done by, done by them. Well, I, I have, and a friend has. Uh, we've submitted some cards, and uh, it just didn't really do much. Uh, it, it, it was good, it was good to experience it. But uh, for value wise, it, it's definitely not a, it's not as big as something else like a, uh, a Beckett or whatnot. There we go. First hollow, Bull Demons of a Doom, an elite. Demons run amok. There we go. Let's go. Okay, we have a flaming sword, an exceptional weapon. There is an Ormond Harpooners. Ooh, here we have a phase assassin. I love this. This Jesse artist is one of my favorites. There's the polymorph. Ooh, I almost put that in the wrong place. That's an elite. Fire harpoons. And now we're into the ordinaries. Swan maidens. There we go. Cave Trolls, Incinerate, oh, we got something. A Sandworm, beautiful. For an Ordinary, that's great. It's interesting, I, I've hit some of the, some of the Ordinaries I've hit are actually cards that I, I would like to collect. Like the Sandworm, I just think it's a cool, uh, if you're into, if you're into Dune, it's obviously one of the ones that would be more fun to, to have in a foil. I like my dune. Here we go, sandworm. My or first ordinary. Sweet, I will take that. Now, starting with a holy ground, exceptional sight. And we have a quarrelsome kobolds. An unland eel. A Ritanus, Titan, an elite giant. Now we've got our boil, dispel, entangled terrain, riptide, a beast of burden, scourge zombies, a muck lampreys, 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 I don't know. Rimland Nomads, followed by an Exorcism, followed by a Arid Desert. Okay. I wish I had more to talk about, but I promise you, it's like 11 o'clock at night right now where I live, and uh, I'm so tired. I am so tired, but I also just want to get some of the videos going, and I want to, like, crush out some more of the sorcery. Been busy with the kids. Here we go, another exceptional site. And I said so much last video. 
I uh, made an argument for can can <laughs> for Canadians having good hockey players. We have runes. There's a dual end. We can tell by down there. This would be a, a great card to have. And we have an exceptional spirit born of the sea. And Nui Undyne. And here we go. Wither. A wither wing hero. This is our first unique. I'll put you right there. Now we have an Amazon Warriors. We are into the into the ordinaries. There's a Swan Maidens. Here's a Cave Trolls. Here's an Azeridge Caravan. And we've got a Blood Ravens. We've got a Sacred Scarabs. Followed by a Spin Attack. Spin Move. Wicker Mannequin. Trojan Cavalry. Ogre Goons. And the Humble Village. There it is. Oh, now I just knocked a piece of, uh, oh yeah, I gotta, before I go too far, I should probably sleeve this unique angel. I believe I have this as an alpha. Pretty sure I have that as an alpha. We will see. We will see. So before I actually, so the one thing that, <laughs> the one thing I could talk about is I was reading the, from Nick's, or oh, not reading, I was watching Nick's Strength in Pokemon. Because he's been one of the main people now that like covers MetaZoo, and uh, although I have my criticisms, I still love me some MetaZoo. I, um, I dig it. There's something about like how poorly managed it is that I absolutely love. Um, it's just something that, yeah, I just love that. Hey, here we go. A tadpole pool. This is one I didn't get that was a, uh, a water card. Genesis, summon three submerged frog tokens here. Okay, I, I had seen a card. I don't know if this is the same art, but I'm pretty sure I saw that. And I just never ever hit it in, uh, in alpha. Okay, we have our ordinary beasts. Let me make sure I put it in the right spot. Sea old salt anchorman. Here we go, we got some pit vipers. There's a burry. There's a cauldron crones. A tufted turtles. A land surveyor. Got a miracle workers. There's a cloud spirit. Wall of air. And a lone tower. Throw this, this guy into my into a sleeve here. Protect them. And continue on with the packs. And you're just looking over at that new death dealer and it's a, uh, oh gosh, what an amazing art. What a great way to follow it up, to follow up the Frank Frazetta art. Battering Ram, an exceptional device. We have Marine Voyage. Here we go, a floodplain. It seems like in Canada people like to build there and then they wonder why their insurance is through the roof after it floods. Where did I put my land, my exceptional lands? I had somewhere, in, some sitting here somewhere. And now I don't know where I put them. It's gonna drive me nuts, there we go. Okay, there we go, there's a nice, a nice elite site. Very beautiful, I love the art of that one. Okay, now we're into the Mage Slayer, Wall of Fire, Roaming Monster, mm, that's an air one too, Blank, great card, Drown, Enermost Mercenaries, Wall of Air, we have Sedge Crabs, Sedge Crabs is up there with Polar Bears, I just realized they're both water, yikes, Spin Attack, and an Autumn River. Here we go, starting with a floodplain again. Ooh, another one, we have a watchtower. And now we have the accursed albatross, okay. Oh, what, another one, that's wild. 
How common are these cards? I've hit another Philosopher's Stone. That's crazy. Second box, second Philosopher's Stone. Okay, wild. Dispel, Riptide, Scourge Zombies, Mage Slayer. We have a Roaming Monster, Drown, a Cloud Spirit. There's those polar bears, porcupine pufferfish, some wild boars, which is an issue on the, up here in Canada, maybe going into the American border, we've got a, a boar problem. What's funny is like it sounds like we've got boars everywhere, and I've never ever seen a wild boar here where I live, yet uh, we have some huge problem here with them. And I'm telling, and I, and I'm telling just because I live in the city, like legitimately, it's I. I go out. I, I, I'm from a small town where there's lots of farming, so it's uh, it's not just because I'm in the city. I'm, I'm saying that even growing up when I was in a small town and all the time I spent gopher hunting, I've gone deer hunting, I've never seen a wild boar, and I hear they're a huge problem right now. Okay, here we go. We have a Delcian Plunx, followed by a Brob Ding Nag Bullfrog. There's that Bane Widow, saw that one already too. An Orb of Ball Bareth. Cool, I've never seen this one. The first time each turn a magic spell is cast nearby, Orb of Ball Bareth creates a copy. The spells control may choose new targets. Interesting. Another unique. That's good. I like that I'm hitting some unique cards that I didn't hit previously in alpha. That feels very good to not uh, not just be hitting the same ones. I think everybody that's ever opened the packs knows what it feels like to have uh, hit the same card twice. It's, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just it's, It is what it is. It's fun to explore and see new cards. Here we go, Red Desert is the end here. Let's put this Orb of Ball, Bareth, into a sleeve. Another, yeah, I, I like that card. I enjoy it. Okay, one third done the box. Look at this. Ooh, good card to start off with, the Dapper Rill Vampire. That is a great card to have. I think we already got one of these today already even. I think we did. There's a Dodge Roll, followed by an Elite Spirit, the Gross Poltergeist. There we go, a Grapple Shot, great card. Scarecrow again, we've got our Blizzard. Rain of Arrows. There's that Apprentice Wizard. Here's an Extinguish. That would be here. Okay, there we go. Midnight Rogue is gonna go ooh, right there. Palibury Bats are gonna go up here. Land Surveyor. Porcupine Pufferfish. And we have another Dark Tower. Okay, right. We always go right. That's the best. See? This method has pulled two Philosopher's Stone. That is pretty wild. Okay, going right into a dual land windmill. This is both a ground and like an earth and an air. Oh, and we got a Vantage Hills. We're hitting lots of these, uh, these lands today. Swivel Scout, this is my ordinary, no, this is an exceptional, oh, there we go, an Elementalist. Hit a couple of these when I was opening the previous Alpha version, and this guy's in this slot, so this must be a little bit more rare than the other uh, avatars. Cool. Okay, got our Wicker Man, Midnight Rogue, a Trojan Cavalry, there's a Wall of Air, Riptide. Scourge Zombies. Got a Men of Lang. Mage Slayer. I think I've seen one of these two that was a Curio somewhere. 
old salt anchorman. There's the pit vipers. And we have a simple village. Okay, elementalist avatar. Cool. Yeah, that was in the um, the elite slash slash uh, unique slot. So it must mean it's more unique than like say the uh, the flame collar or some of the other ones that uh, that ran into so far. Very cool. I will take it. Okay, starting out, we've got a Sea Raider, followed by a Gale Sirens. Gale, that's what I want to say. Quarry some Kvolds. I think we've hit all those cards already. Unlikely Alliance. Yes, got one of those already too. Now, look at that Jussie artwork. This is the best. I need to have more Jussie art. And the person that does the ultimate horror. Very good art. Some of the best art. There we go, okay. So we gotta keep, uh, I, don't, I don't think I have to apologize for it. I just like to keep straightening my deck. Oh, I think I have a wall of air as a, uh, I don't have a wall of air as a hollow too. Sleep. And then there's that autumn river. We will get lots of rivers, lots of simple villages, lots of different towers, a couple of deserts. That's what she's like. Okay, thunderstorm. Feel the thunder. Where are my thunderstorms? Right there. Ooh, mountain pass. Cool one. Exceptional sight. Followed by an upswelling. And a polymorph. There's our elite. Now let's crank through these. And lagoons, Pegasus. Miracle Workers, Cloud Spirit, Rolling Monster, here's a Burry, there's a Drown, there's an Eremos Mercenaries, there's a Cauldron Crones, here's a Tufted Turtles, there is another beautiful river. So far, what do we have, two hollows? Go two hollows, I think. Hit a couple of elites. Not bad. Oh, some of these packs are hard to get into. I don't want to damage the cards. The card cuts. Yeah, they're about the same as last time. Not the best. Not the best. There's that Taurus Hammer Trinket. I like that card too. We have a Holy Ground. Ooh, look at that magnetic muzzle. Cool artwork, Brian Smith. So he did Death Dealer, right? Yes, he did. Ooh, oh, I'm starting to get into the Brian Smith stuff too. That is a good one. We got another Mage Slayer. We have a Roaming Monster. Here's a Cauldron Crones. Here's a Tufted Turtles. And a Coral Reef Kelpie. Here's a Drown. A Wicker Mannequin. A land surveyor, there's that plumed pegasus. It's one of the first cards that I remember pulling as a plumed pegasus. And another autumn river, a beautiful autumn river. And here we go, another stack of cards, more thunderstorms. And a wildfire. Hey, Crave Golem, Brian Smith. There we go, now I'm starting to see it and it looks like right behind that is another Brian Smith. I'm starting to, okay. I'm starting to recognize Brian's work. I dig it. They, the, the, the choices for artists for sorcery are, are, are so amazing. Like they've done some really good jobs other than Grey Wolves. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That person draws way better than I could ever draw. But there are some really great artists that have drawn, or not just drawn, I don't know if that's the word, that have created artwork that is being used here. There's a lot of Brian Smiths in this. Uh, I didn't read that Porcupine Pufferfish also was. Now I'm starting to recognize the artwork style. Got the Swamp Buffalo, because this is a Jussie. You can just tell like when it's a Jussie. Wild Boars. And a Summer River. 
And now I'm starting to get a taste for a Brian Smith. You just, what happens for me at least is I, there's like, there's one artwork that I see. It's kind of like listening to a new genre of music. I, I can put it that way. I remember being young and not, uh, how did it start out? I was really into new metal because my older brother, I was too young to even be a part of the scene, I would say, but I had an older brother that was not too young and uh, he was into new metal. So I got to listen to all these bands and, uh, ooh, there we go, a seer. Very cool. And that's also in, in the exceptional slash unique, or not exceptional, in the elite spot, I will point out. So yeah, I just remember uh, listening to these bands uh, like Corn and whatnot, and then I just dove even deeper because you're the younger brother and you just uh, want to be kind of idolize the your, your, the older brother's friends and what they're into, and uh, that was the area that I really dove into is music. Um, and I just remember being a diehard of uh, that music. And one day, what happened is is another kid from my brother's grade that was older. I was hanging out outside with somebody, and uh, we were listening to Corn, and they started teasing me. Uh, like, oh my god, you still listen to corn? And it's like, it's such a childish thing, but I, I remember it like, I, I, I never ever thought it was uncool until that day. And uh, I remember it kind of like I felt embarrassed. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm listening to something that's not cool. And I had no idea what was going on. I was like maybe like 11 years old. <laughs> like, I was pretty young. And uh, anyways, where I went from there was, uh, I, I, I was kind of lost with it. And so, I ended up going to a concert. I was trying. I was trying, listening to different music, and I remember I was listening to uh, "Poison the Well" came up, and it was kind of heavy. It was kind of trendy, um, and I enjoyed it. And I went and saw them, but the band that was opening was AFI. This is a Brian Smith too. This Devil's Egg. I'm seeing it now. So we went and saw AFI, um, and when I saw AFI, they blew me away and it opened up the world of punk rock. I was never into Blink 182 because some of these kids with a different band that was older than that was in the next grade of, uh, ahead of me, they were really into Blink, so I couldn't be into Blink, right? I had to be into something else to, to be different. And uh, got into AFI, which opened me up to, oh, Pennywise and all the punk rock bands. There we go, a court jester. Awesome, we'll have this guy, an elite mortal in a hollow. Okay, we'll finish these guys off, Ogre Goons. And uh, all of a sudden I, I was into punk rock and certain types of punk rock. I got into the Misfits. Um, hey, another Flame Caller. I'm trying to think of the other bands that I really got into that were punk rock at the time. But AFI was my, my big one. They, they won me over by their, their live show. Beautiful court jester here. So, got into AFI. And uh, that kind of, what? It, oh, I, actually, I, I know what it kind of went into. Then I kind of got into like from into from, from autumn to ashes and some of these um, bands that were kind of trendy in the screamo scene, you know. So there was AFI, but there was also Poison the Well, and so yeah, I got into the into the I guess you would call it the screamo scene. And from there, I remember going to a concert, and it was I went to see it was Thirty Six Crazy Fists, amazing band, and they just put out their best album ever, which was a, a snow capped romance, best snare drum sound ever. The, the album is just like one of the best albums. Um, yeah, it, it's I couldn't. It's it's amazing. Anyways, go and see Thirty Six Crazy Fists, and from Autumn to Ashes, we're playing now. The headliner though was. It was Kill Switch Engage, and I wasn't really into metal. I never, I, I, because I just didn't get metal. Like I got, I got new metal, but I, I never got metal metal at all. I didn't get that. Um, and so we go and uh, Thirty Six Crazy Fist canceled. Eighteen Visions was the other band that opened. Never ever heard of them. Went and saw them. They were amazing. From Autumn to Ashes then played, and this is on there. Ooh, is it too bad you're beautiful? Hey, Roaming Monster. There we go. Another, another foil. Try to think of what the oh no the fiction we live that was the that was the tour, so we see them absolutely amazing just great and now kill switch engages going on and I'm like eh, now we get to see this this other band that I've never really uh, even, like I've never even given them a chance like I, I was just there to see the other bands kill switch engage go on Howard comes out and they just blow me away and I am opened up to the world of heavy metal. And from there it becomes all that remains, Unearth. Uh, I saw Unearth open for Slipknot that on that tour. And then I became, I've seen Unearth now like what, four or five times. Um, and that opened me up to metal. So then all of a sudden I'm listening to Lamb of God. I'm listening to, yeah, it just, it just created the whole new world. And that's what I'm saying here is like uh, seeing an artist. It, it, it's the same thing. It's, it's an art, right? 
when you when I see an artist, I get a little taste, and sometimes it just takes that little bit of a taste, and all of a sudden, you I get the taste, right? And I start to get, oh, I get it. Ooh, Ruby Core Unique. I will take that. Great hit. Awesome. Um, and the same thing happened years later. I never understood electronic music. I couldn't distinguish. I couldn't tell you what was trance. I couldn't tell you what was house music. I didn't understand it. I never... Oh, here we go. A crossroads Elite Sight points in the right direction. Wicked. I'm going to actually sleep this guy directly. I've never seen a Crossroads before, so... Uh, Interesting that uh, hit it in the hollow. I might as well sleep this Ruby Core. Great hit. So I get into this. I start drumming with this uh, with a, with a DJ from here, and uh, start going to electronic shows. And I I, I remember going to uh, to who was playing Ferry Corston. We met Ferry Corston that day. Uh, he's like he was like with Tiesto. Um, I think bingo players were playing then, but they weren't even that big and start going to these electronic shows. Well, I don't know if I'm really into this. I'm not sure if I'm into that. And just over time, I, I figured out what genre was my music. And, and by being part of that scene, it just like all of a sudden my world was opened up to electronic music and I dove deep. I remember one year I drove, oh, I, I couldn't tell you how many hours I drove to go to festivals. I went to something like five festivals in that year because it became the thing that I, I was obsessed with it. And the genre that I got the most into would be, I would say, hard style, like Belgium hard style. Uh, there's an artist named Kuhn. That's not a, a a bad term use. It's actually his name. It's how you say it. I just want to point that out before somebody gets upset. Um, then there was noise controllers, and uh, oh, a Pathfinder too. Man, I'm just hitting these uh, these more rare avatars. Crazy. And uh, that's what I'm seeing with art here. This all comes back to this. I'm glad I have something to talk about. I, I can I can talk about music for, for a long time, as you probably know if you've watched this channel. Now, when I see a piece of art here, like with this uh, Brian Smith, so not really like you know I kind of enjoy. I, I I can say that I have all, I have enjoyed his work uh, throughout this. But then all of a sudden I see the one I like the most. I'm like, whoa, that Death Dealer. Look at that thing. That's amazing. And all of a sudden then I'm getting a taste for it. You know start seeing his other works. I start seeing the Devil's Egg even more. And I and I, I like the Devil's Egg art previously. It's just, uh, it stands out even more now is what I would say. Because I figured, I found the one that I love. Jesse, I just loved them all immediately. You can go watch those videos and see that uh, from Alpha and see that I was, I was head over heels into, into Jesse immediately that first booster box. I was like, what is this? Who is this person? Same thing with the Ultimate Horror. Amazing artist. I was won over by that artist. There's another card the Ultimate Horror artist does. I forget what it's called. I have it. It's another. Um, it's another unique. Divine Healing. Ooh, nice. A Kithra Mechanism. I think I got this in Alpha as well. That's another unique. Hitting lots of uniques on that right hand side. So what I would say is, if you don't understand music or any type of art, all you gotta do is find a way in. It's truly what's worked for me is finding a way in. There's only one genre that I truly haven't been able to find a song that I actually like, like, and that's modern country. I have tried, and near where I live is one of the biggest, most famous country festivals in the world. People fly all, all over the place to come here for this festival and uh, I have tried. I, I promise you, I've tried to listen to country music. I, I have so much respect for the Zac Brown band. I've, uh, you know, I've, 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 I've got respect, but I just, I just don't get it. Like I really, that's the one genre I just struggle with, and it kills me. Even the like, gangster rap, I really struggled with gangster rap for a while, and then one day I got into it. Not even gangster rap. I should say rap in general. And it was gangster rap that got me into it when I started listening to NWA. Oh, what was the other one? Gosh, I can't think of the other names right now. Island Le Leviathan. I can never say that correctly. Um, oh, is that an, uh, it's an elite, isn't it, too? It is elite. I gotta put you in the right pile. 
I just remember getting into uh, into rap, and it was uh, the gangster rap. I don't even know. I'm not a gangster. I don't think I am. But for some reason, uh, oh, Good Kid, Mad City by uh, Kendrick Lamar. That was the album that, that somehow got me into it. And uh, that broke that wall down. Started listening to NWA. It was just, uh, that was it. The only one that I just don't get to this day is Country, another Spark Mage. Wow, this is an Avatar box. Pretty crazy. Loaded with avatars. There we go. Minecart Madness. Earth. There we go. Dual lands. How do we know? We've got both of those down there. We have the Tringe Constrictor. I have not seen one of those in beta until now. It's my first one in beta. Sisters of Silence. That might be my first one in beta also. It's an elite. Ooh, where am I putting it? There we go. Critical Strike. Let's keep going. Oh, I did something bad. I put this in the wrong pile. Yikes. Gotta organize it. It's gonna make things better. The stuff you guys don't see. Y'all in general. Guys, gals, people of the universe. Y'all don't see the pain of, of organizing cards after. There's that Jesse. Pretty good. Trojan Cavalry. Cloud Spirit. We've got a pirate ship. And there is another Gothic Tower. Here we go, a Frost Nova, Syrian Templar. Got a couple of these so far. Marine Voyage. A Wicked Witch, which is our elite. Here we go, we got our Blink. Heat Ray, Icelands, Amazon Warriors, Swan Maidens. Alvelin Druids, Sandworm, already hit that guy in a, in a foil, Land Surveyor, there's that Jesse Swamp Buffalo, and another cutesy wootsy little river. Here we go. A Daparil Vampire. This is a good one to hit. You want to hit this card? It's a good one. Anui Undyne. Dodge roll. There is a Brian Smith. I can see it immediately. Now we have our cave, our cave trolls. Cave trolls is put noses in holes. Is interesting. Incinerate. Deep sea mermaids. Border Militia, Fade, Spectral Stalker, here's a Sleep, a Muck Lampreys, here's a Polar Bear, followed by a Bone Rabble and another Cutie Wootsy Spring River. Here we go again. Minecraft, minecart, madness. There's a ground, another cringe constrictor. Got a couple of those now. Here's a blaze. An atlas wanderers, another Brian Smith. You can start to see that now. Lots of Brian Smiths in this one. I'm lucking out pretty good now that I uh, threw that out there to the universe. There seems to be uh, Seem to be getting, getting it back. There's a fireball, it's an exorcism, siege crabs, and ogre goons, rimland nomads, another spark mage. Jeez, we're gonna be looking at so many avatars at the end of this. This is wild how many avatars I've hit. We'll be able to do some trading. Okay, we got the Cyclops. 
you can go right here. Headless Haunt. I like that one. Is that Jussie? This is a Jussie too. You can just see that. Uh, you can see it. Very cool looking. Got the Bane Widow, the exceptional beast. And here we go. Rightness Titan. I don't think I've hit that one ever before. Huh, it looks, uh, looks nice. Spellbook. Cool. Okay, got our Mad Dash. Got a Caravan. Blood Ravens. Scent Hounds. Bosk Troll. I think the air cards and the fire cards are probably the coolest ones that there are. Like, uh, yeah, I think they're probably the coolest looking ones. The, uh, followed by water, and I think the ground ones are probably the most boring in my opinion. You can argue with that with me, please do. If you've got a different opinion on this, let's go. Let's have this talk. Let's have a discussion about it. All right. Getting down to the wire here. Got the Fey Changeling, a Leap Attack, a Flood, a Sneak Thief. Ooh, that's an Elite actually. We have our Men of Lang, Dispel. There's a Riptide, Old Salt Anchorman, Pit Vipers, Scourge Zombies, Wall of Air, got a Cloud Spirit, a Pirate Ship. And a sandstorm. Rustic village. And keep on. Jeez, another avatar. You can see it on the back here, right? Right there. How about something I don't have? I've got so many spark I've got spark mages and uh I don't need any more spark mages at this point. Another giant shark. I hit one of these last time. Good to have a second. Here's a shield wall. Ooh, here's our elite, the Screaming Skull. I've gotten that one before. And here's a Mage Slayer. With a Burry, great card. Cauldron Crones. Let's make sure these aren't falling over. A Roaming Monster. And a Drown. Here's a Tuft of Turtles. Here's a Wicker Mannequin. A Rawl Dromedary. Palaburry Bats. Followed by a pirate ship, followed by another flame caller. Second one in the box. I can't wait to go through all of these avatars. And you that don't have any, know that they are all in my box somehow. Somehow I hit the big leagues with the uh, Philosopher's Stone and the, the avatars. I don't think I've hit many hollows though. One, two, three, four. I think it's only four so far. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, five. Last time I got nine, so uh, hopefully we got a couple more in this box. Might not be as standardized from my understanding. Guile Sirens. Here's an Undertaker Engine. That's our Elite. Okay, Border Militia. Here's a Fade. There's a Longbowman. Lightning Bolt. Oh, there we go. A Nightmare. I've never even seen this card. By Drew Tucker. I have never even seen a Nightmare before. Wow, that's a cool looking card. In the back. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. That's probably the same person that does the Fae Changeling, right? I think it is, but I could be wrong. You can call me on it, please do if I'm wrong. Please inform me, I love being corrected. Okay, hit another holographic card. The Nightmare, that's a cool looking one. It's kind of hard to distinguish, but I kind of like, I do like that about it. It's uh, a bit harder to, to figure out. Okay, hey, another great shark, there we go. We got a giant shark, not a great shark. It's a giant one. Here we go, and here's our elite, a flame wave. Okay, firebolts, sentowns, boss troll, 
You can dispel. Oh, what have I done? No, oh, no, Riptide. And a Brian Smith Atlas Wanderers. Another hollow. There we go. Hitting a couple now in a row. It seems like they're, uh, you know what I've found so far? I think I'm starting to see that they're, sometimes they're kind of following each other. Like you hit one and uh, there's one that, there's a couple that follow. Sometimes they're sort of stacked in these boxes in the same areas. Atlas Wanderers, Brian Smith. Awesome. Still have not hit myself an elite C or a, what is it, a, uh, a unique C card, unfortunately, in, hol in holographic. Not yet. Oh, there we go. Another dually. Exceptional sight. And we have an elite Imperial Row. There's our elite card. Followed by a lightning bolt. A fireballs. A scent hounds. There's a boss troll. Oh no, too far again. Gee, Siege Ballista. Exceptional weapon. Here we go. Rawl Dromedary. Ordinary. There's a Miracle Workers. There's a Swamp Buffalo. And a Polar Bears. Followed by a Gothic Tower. Okay, I think we've hit our, our quota for shiny cards now. Whew, I was getting concerned. We only have a couple packs left. Let's go, here we go. We have a Bane Widow, another Brian Smith. I can recognize it as soon as I see it now. A Fey Changeling, Drew Tucker, there we go. I was correct, right? The one I was looking at before was a Drew Tucker. Where did it go? Nightmare, Drew Tucker, yes, called it. Okay, cool, getting to feel that artwork too. It's pretty, that one's pretty similar. There's a Brian Smith, you can see it immediately. The type of art, this is a Brian Smith box for sure. A Riptide. Ooh, that is an ordinary card. I will not put it there. Here's a Scarred Zombies. There's a Mage Slayer. A Roaming Monster. Here's a Drown. Ooh, there we go. An exceptional Mortals of Till and Toil. Okay, High Clansman. Snow Leopard. Plumed Pegasus. And here's a Wild Boars. Here we go, Humble Village. Great. Bloop. And this is the last pack. This is the very last pack. All right, people, this video has been fun. Let's see what we end off with. I do not have last pack magic, as everybody knows. Actually, I did one time have last pack magic. There was one time just recently. I don't know if I posted the video either. I, I re I've recorded so many videos that I haven't posted just because I've been, uh, oh, I don't know, just been doing other stuff. Okay, there's an elite armor, all terrain vestment. I got that guy in a hollow for LFA. Coral Reef Kel Kelpie, there's a boil. Mercenaries and Tangled Terrain. Scarecrow, Beast of Burden, and a Snow Leopard, followed by a Sea Serpent, followed by Unravel, there's a Teleport, and an Arid Desert. All right, we made it through. Very, very good. I think the first thing to do is to look at all of these Oh, there we go. There's some more uniques. Okay, no, I hit, I hit a couple more uniques than I thought. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go through all of these dang avatars I got. There. I'm just organizing off to the side for any of you wondering what's going on here. I have hit so many avatars. It's pretty wild, actually. Okay. Let's do an avatar. I just want to make sure there's none in, in the other pile. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, here's the avatars. Ready? We've got a flame crawl, flame collar. We have another flame collar. We have another flame collar. That's a total of three of them. We have a spark mage. There's another spark mage. Or two. 
Got a Pathfinder, a Seer, and an Elementalist. Oof, that is a lot of avatars in one box. Here they are. When your box, when you have nobody to play with, remember that this is where they came from. Like I hit the Seer previously, this is the one I think I don't have, or do I have a, no, I think I have a Pathfinder. Am I missing? Which one am I missing? I, I gotta I gotta look, I gotta go online and do some research here. Okay, so there are the avatars. Next up, let's look at all of the, okay, exceptional, exceptional, there's an elite, there's an elite, there's an elite, there's an ordinary, okay, and I've got all my uniques here that are pretty darn, pretty darn good. The uniques I've been doing, they've been like, I've been doing okay with the uniques, it's just uh, none of them are foil. Okay, other elites, where's my other elites? Elites, ordinary, ordinary. All right, all right guys, and gals, and people of the universe. Let's take a look at the ordinaries first. We have the bulls of a dumb, a sandworm, and a roaming monster. There is that. Next up are the exceptionals. We have a Siege Ballista and a Frontier Settlers. Not too many exceptionals, but now once we get to the elites, I have gotten quite a few elites in this box. We have a Court Jester, we have a Nightmare, a Crossroads Elite, and an Atlas Wanderers. Very cool, We're getting uh, these three are, are, are cool. I don't think I've, I've gotten anything like that. Previously, and then finally, let's take a look at the uniques. There's some pretty big surprises in here. We have the Wither Wing Hero, followed by a Tadpole Pool. There's that Philosopher's Stone, second one out of my second box. There's an Orb of Ball Berith, Kithera Mechanism, and here is a Ruby Core. Great, good box again. I mean, hitting a, a Ruby Core and a Philosopher's Stone hitting a death dealer and a philosopher's stone in the original box too this is getting pretty wild here my luck is actually uh i'm feeling it it's not like i'm hitting the uh the chase the chase chase you know uh in in hollow but i can say that this is pretty pretty awesome so thanks for watching the video this is adhd tcg i'll have another video coming up of my third box so keep on watching you can follow me on instagram at adhd tcg and until then Keep your stick on the ice. Canadians are good at hockey.